Okay, so here we are. Welcome. So today we're going to be focusing on our lunge. So everything that we do today will either indirectly or directly improve our lunges. Onto our sides, you can rest your head on a pillow. You can prop yourself up with your hand if you want to, whatever feels comfortable for you. You do want to check that your head is in line with your shoulders and your pelvis, that your hips are stacked and your knees are stacked. So we're going to go into clam with internal rotation. So you're going to clam and then you're going to go into internal rotation, back into the clam and then home base and repeat on the same side. So you're going to open, go into that internal rotation, back into external rotation and home. And you're just going to repeat that. You want to do as many as you can. You're going to feel that burn in the booty. Trying to keep your pelvis very stable. Trying just to move your leg and your hip. Really feeling the booty working for you. You want to try to feel that booty working more than your hip flexors. The more bend you have in your knees, the easier it is to overwork the hip flexor. So make sure that you have the right angle for your needs. You can always switch sides before me if you want to, and I can catch up with you. If you're still with me, that's great. Hopefully you're feeling the burn. I'm feeling it. I'm just gonna do a couple more because my booty is really on fire. Whew, all right. Who's ready to switch sides? All right, so checking your alignment. You want your head in line with your shoulders and your pelvis, your hips are stacked. Your knees are stacked. Open and then internal rotation back to that external rotation and home base and repeating that. Remember to keep your abdominals engaged, right? You want to create as much space between your waistline and the mat as possible. Trying to keep your hips, I mean, not your hips, but trying to keep your pelvis very still. So you're trying just to move the hip and the leg. Who is feeling the booty burn? I'm feeling the booty burn. On fire. Whew, I'm just gonna do a few more because I am really feeling that booty burn. Couple more for me here. Okay, nice. So taking it back to the first side, and now you're gonna come into your side plank, and now you're gonna do the clam with the side plank. You're gonna really feel that stabilizing glute working a lot. You wanna do as many of these as you can. When you feel that fatigue, you can go ahead and switch sides. Wow, I am really feeling that stabilizing side working a lot. I'm just gonna do a few more. Wow. All right, are you ready to switch sides? Oh my goodness. All right, getting those hips up off the mat. I feel it. Oh my goodness, that stabilizing side is really working.
Remembering to breathe. Keeping the pelvis as still as possible. I'm just gonna do a few more because I am on fire. Oh my goodness, all right. You ready to stretch out? I'm ready to stretch out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cross knee over knee. I've got my left knee over the right, pulling into my chest, and then shifting your knees over to your left. You should feel that stretch get into your right glute. With each exhale, you're just gently bringing your knees in closer to your chest. It should feel like a good stretch. And then you're gonna shift. You're gonna place your right ankle over your left knee, pull into your chest, stretching out the different glute muscle here. And then after your last exhale, switching sides, left knee over the right, pulling into your chest, shifting your knees over to your right until you feel that stretch get into your left glute. Gently pulling your knees in towards your chest with each exhale. Just nice regular breathing here. Just try not to hold your breath. And then after your last exhale, shifting left ankle over your right knee, pulling into your chest. We're gonna work on our curtsy lunge. So for the curtsy lunge, you step across your body and you bend both knees and you want to feel that you're weighted equally between both feet, both legs, and you're going to add in these little pulses once you're in that curtsy lunge. So notice that I have a lot of space in between my feet. It's not a close distance, right? You wanna be able to have better range of motion, right? And you wanna kind of dip down as far as you feel safe, staying nice and upright in your body, and then adding in the little pulses. So what you wanna check for, what's important, is that the front knee is positioned over the middle toes, right? So you've got really nice alignment of the foot, knee, and hip, right? You also wanna make sure, like I said before, that you're using both legs evenly. So you should feel the active glute in the back leg, and obviously you're gonna feel that quad in the front. And it's gonna start to burn, that's normal. You wanna do as many as you can, and when it's time to rest, you can come out of it, that's fine. So I'm gonna to switch to the second side. So I'm crossing over, nice wide distance, right, with the feet. That back heel is gonna come up. I'm gonna make sure that my knee is nicely aligned with my middle toes. And then go down as deep as you feel safe and adding in the pulses. 
So you're gonna feel the quad working in the front. You wanna feel the back glute working. You should feel it. Okay, who's on fire? Woo, I'm gonna rest. Woo, nice. Okay, who's ready for corpse pose? Laying down on your back, just noticing the blood flow, noticing the space you have in your lower back, the open chest. And we're gonna finish by activating the parasympathetic nervous system. And you're gonna inhale through your nose, hold your breath for a couple of counts, exhale out your mouth longer than your inhale, and you wanna do that at least three times. Here you go. And then that's it. You did it. Yay. Woohoo. Happy dance. That was good. That was a good workout. That was not easy. Woo. Feeling the heat. Feels good though. Feel like I worked my body. I hope you feel good. See you next time. Bye. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content, and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more.